through tears, friends hold on tight. Family, neighbors, strangers embrace. For the first time since surviving yesterday's mass shooting at the Gilroy Garlic Festival, praying for strength and healing at St. Mary Catholic Church. It's real. It happened I, and you know, it's happening all over our country. Kristen Bright, one of the many survivors attending tonight's vigil. People were just running at us um, and there was immediately sirens. I actually saw police officers from a distance running toward where I heard the sound come from. It sounded like it was right behind us. So we saw people running and yelling shooter. So we got under the table and we're waiting for someone to say that we could get out. With young people hiding in fear, this volunteer would not leave until everyone around her escaped. So I said lift up the back of the tent and just keep running. I wanted to make sure I did my job. <laughs> you know, I did my job. Another volunteer bringing his family to safety. And we heard everybody yelling shooting, shooting, get down. So my first instinct was to grab my little brother. We started hiding under like the booths, the tables. When the coast was clear, they ran through an opening in the fence to escape. We started running up the, uh, the hill and I saw four other kids kind of lost. They were volunteers and they didn't know where their parents were. So I took them with me. Volunteers refusing to leave anyone behind. It's surreal and I'm just sad and um, but hopeful, really hopeful for our community. I really am. We're a strong community. Tonight, as the people of Gilroy light candles, they say their hope won't be diminished. Gilroy is considered like a family friendly place and stuff like this. It happens and it just like we're not going to be looked at the same way. People are going to just be like, oh, that's where it happened. That's where the shooting happened. And I feel like it's going to take a lot of courage and bravery. But together as a community and as a city, we are come together and overcome this. And that volunteer Oscar, his younger brother is 13 years old, the same age as one of the victims who was killed at last night's shooting. He says this hits just too close to home. Live in Gilroy, Marley Martinez, KCRA 3 News.